this to talk about here quickly this is courtesy of little yatty's podcast um called a safe place and it features an interview with kai Sina. now i wanted to play this clip in particular because it features these guys talking about tricking and i feel like tricking is a phenomenon that's kind of gained popularity nowadays with the kids coming up because i feel like a lot of these young boys especially these young men have now become way more successful way more rich at a very early age so they have the ability to do things that maybe they shouldn't be doing at their age right in a weird way it's kind of strange they have access to things that they probably should be having access to much later in their life so with that being said and social media and access to people it makes a lot of sense why these guys would with, with a lot of expend with a lot of um um, disposable income would be open to the idea of like flying strangers across the country to come and visit them but i've legitimately always thought it's unhinged and i've always thought it was unhinged from the moment i heard the whole tricking thing from joe budden when i used to listen to the joe budden podcast with the original crew with rory or maul on there there was always a common running joke that joe was a trick joe would always kind of fly girls out he'd take them places all this sort of stuff he'd take them on holiday as first dates or second dates just this weird behavior and i never understood it in my head i could never understand why somebody would want to invite a stranger on holiday as a date as a guy number two i wouldn't under, i couldn't get in my head around why a woman would accept to go on a date like that because if anything you know if if, if women in general are afraid of being left alone with random dudes that they just met off the internet how much more going on holiday with somebody you don't really know or you have to kind of be with them and them alone in a room or whatever it may be it just seems like such a recipe for disaster it doesn't make any complete sense but clearly it's a thing that people do people do all the time because they want to spend time with beautiful men with beautiful women it happens all the time me personally having grown up the way i've grown up it's just never been an option to try and win somebody's love or affection for you with money i guess because i had the ability to maybe grow up in an area where you know you were kind of rewarded and credited and looked as like a bad boy if you had the ability to kind of draw and pull girls with no money in your pocket it was actually looked at as a point of pride so to then be the guy that's suddenly now trying to use the money i have to try and get people to like me is just wild i could never see that happening but then again i don't have kai cena and little yatty money Maybe if I had Kai Sina and Lil Yai money, my whole brain would change and I'd be open to that sort of stuff. Yo, big up Abby Martinez. Your day, my gotta go to bed. <laughs> Yo, big up. No problem, brother. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you anyway. Thank you for the 199 super chat, my friend. Thank you so much, Abby Martinez. Have a good night, my friend. But yeah, maybe it would change if I did have the money that these guys have. But let's just play the clip anyway, because I think this is a very interesting clip to kind of see the mind of these young kids and how they're kind of thinking about relationships and hookups and meets and stuff because i can't ever in my wildest dreams be a think that going to meet you know taking a stranger on a holiday is a good way to kind of get to know somebody it just seems fucking insane so let's take the chat off the screen and let's play the video because i think this is a pretty interesting insight into how these kids are thinking nowadays let's uh let's pivot i want to get into some shit i'm curious okay talk to me you be tricking? Do I be tricking? You be tricking? Absolutely not. Absolutely oh, wait, not. But, but remember, Absolutely it. remember, remember not. though, you could be, you could. No, listen. we could get into this. And listen, and listen, and listen. I know the first thing to do is just to say, I get it. That's the cool thing. But you could be honest here, bro. No, no I don't. Mean, one, I know no nobody. Real. Nobody is seeing this shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, nobody okay, is fucking so, seeing exactly. this shit. Exactly. It's between yeah. us three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Absolutely not. And let me tell you why. I'm here. Let me ask you a question real quick. Okay. Is getting an Uber or going out to eat tricking? What kind of eat? Yeah, the eating. I mean, it don't matter. Get restaurant, just like, like, well, like okay, restaurant. let's do, let's do, a steak, like just a steakhouse. Okay, like a, like a steakhouse. Is that that's, going out to eat? No, nah, that's a date. No, nah, yeah, I don't think she gets like the gold steak. Is she getting like no, 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 no the wait, gold no, no, steak. No, no. She come to gold wait, wait, steak. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's like <laughs> like a hobby. Are you hey, a gold steak? And a whole wine bottle, a whole wine bottle. You never know. I never know. Like I couldn't give you a go. Okay, gold steak is fucking insane. Okay, that's crazy. Twenty four karat gold steak. It's fucking insane. That's what I'm saying. Like like they bring it. They bring the nigga out who goddamn. That's what I'm saying. They bring it out like the fire. They shut the lights off. In the whole goddamn video, like, music like, start playing. Damn, no, but I think the uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't do it because okay, so like, I don't think Ubers or dinner. I don't is think tricking. that counts. No, tricking. okay, 
eliminate that. Now here's what's tricking this, okay? Yo, let's go shopping. That's a form it, it, of it. Here's some. What do you mean? That's Wait, tricking. That's one form. It's a lot of tricks. Oh, okay, no, there's a lot. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, that's that's definitely one form. Um, I can, or like. Uh, I so think you never so okay. Me personally, flying out is crazy. Wait, what? paying for flights is crazy. Me so? personally, playing flights Wait, is crazy. Wait, you gotta be I am right, not. I'm not being honest. I'm not, be, you're not, not being honest. I'm being here, honest, bro. bro. Flying somebody out is insane. You never did it. Never. All right. So what about what about the whole uh, you know, messing with chicken? It's like, hey God, baby, uh, my rent is. Um, oh, bro, I'm glad you brought that up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I actually have a story time. Uh -huh. story time uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I got. I got. I'm gonna say about the rent thing. First of all, I've never. I'm looking at all three cameras when I say this. I've never, <laughs> ever have visited a fucking city to where a large majority, like Atlanta, a lot of people are looking to get their rent paid. And it's actually fucking crazy. Bro, bro. Absolutely crazy. A long time ago when I first moved here, bro, this shit blew my fucking mind. I was laying in bed with some girl, bro. Mm. Mid laying in bed, as I'm about to go to sleep, she says, why the fuck am I even here? I said, man, hold on, wait. What you mean? Like, uh -huh. what you mean? She was like, I came all the way to your crib, and I could have been with some niggas that was at the club just now that had Richard Millie's and 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 they were gonna pay my rent. I said, yo, if you wanna go, like you can go. So right. she, that was an alley oop for me to pay her rent. How long did uh -huh. I know each other? Did she wait? Did she? Bro, wait, did she I, I barely know this bitch. Don't play the whole thing, but you kind of get the gist of the conversation. To me, it just sounds unbelievable that you would want to invite somebody that you don't know on a holiday somewhere is you know it's one thing to invite somebody on a date to go for dinner or something or to go for drinks that's already a bit nerve-wracking to go for the stranger somewhere having to sit face to face with them and try and strike up some sort of conversation some sort of familiarity to pay for somebody's plane ticket to come and meet you is incredibly presumptuous because there is a lot of this kind of conversation on social at the moment of you know women feeling like guys go into you know meets with women and feel like they are entitled to certain things but let's be honest let's be really honest if you're a dude if you're sorry if if, if a dude invites you out to a holiday somewhere and you accept you can't blame him for thinking he thinks that you also want to smash it's obviously unhinged to think that but if you actually decide a grown-up right if you're over the age of 21 25 years old and you actually agree to let some stranger pay for your flight ticket and to pay for your stay to give you a fucking stipend or whatever it may be and whatever it may be to take you all over the place and buy you stuff you can't be angry if that person expects some sexual favors back so in my head, I'm thinking, if you're a woman, why would you agree to that if you're not ready for that sort of thing? If you, It just doesn't make any sense. Um, you're better off if you want to maybe try and fleece the guy and get him to buy you things from afar. Fair enough. Do what you need to do. But agreeing to dates like in that way is strange. In the boy's point of view, in the guy's point of view, is even weird. Because for me, if I'm trying to get somebody to, if I'm interested in somebody, I don't want it to start from a point of them liking me only because I have money. Like that would be the worst place to start from, personally speaking. And again, maybe it's my upbringing because I come from a place where we were, you know, it was encouraged to go and talk to girls in the street and try and get their numbers. It was encouraged to kind of do that. And back then we had absolutely no money in our pockets. We just had a smile. And sometimes a smile wouldn't get you anywhere, especially when you were like 16 and you were competing with guys that were like 19 coming to your school and bagging all your fucking girls in your school and coming back in cars and the motorbikes and stuff. You were just thinking, fuck, here you were in a bus with your shitty fucking school uniform on and this kid from college was driving up and he's fucking you know Ford Focus or some shit it was awful but still you competed in that same level right but you didn't try and fake the funk and pretend you had money because you didn't so when you did end up getting somebody to actually be interested in you and give you some time maybe you want to hang out maybe you're going to go to cinema with you go to an arcade it felt like the biggest victory ever because you knew you had to really work for that you knew that that person actually liked you as a person and giving you a chance as a human as opposed to what's in your fucking wallet. So I can't imagine, especially now with the competition that exists out there, with the amount of ladies, with the amount of men out there, I just would never want to be in a position where I feel like this person's only talking to me because I have money. That's the only thing. The only thing I wouldn't want to do, you know? It's just something that I wouldn't want to be involved in. I want to just kind of leave that alone. But again, you know, Kai Sina just signed a 70 million dollar streaming contract with um rumble 
Um, little Yatty's doing his thing and he's got a lot of money and he's got all these brand deals coming out of his ass. So these kids are like under the age of like, what, 28 or some shit and they are bawling. So, you know, they've kind of grown up on social media. They're native to Instagram. They're native to Twitter and shit, Snapchat. It's probably not that big of a deal to be talking to girls from all parts of the world, right? From Israel to fucking Thailand to fucking Denmark to the UK to parts of Central America. They're probably talking to all types of people. Um, and it probably doesn't seem like a stretch for them to be like, you know what? What's your name and date of birth? I'll buy you a plane ticket. <laughs> it's probably not a stretch, but for me, it just sounds insane. It just sounds like the most insane thing I could ever even think of. So I don't know where these guys' brains go to, why they think like this, but I just would never want to be in that position where I'm starting to date somebody only because of that because it just sounds legitimately like the most insane way to start a relationship. But again, maybe I'm the one in the wrong. Maybe I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I think if you are going to go that way, you're better off trying to get somebody to like you for who you are than tricking because I feel like the tricking thing, it you know, it's a slippery slope. Once you start paying for flights, there's real, there's probably no limit to stuff that you can and probably will pay for in the future. And I also think just for the safety of the women involved, like why would you accept that? That is such a, that's such a loaded offer, you know? It comes with such, it comes with so many, um, it comes with so many things that you probably so many like unsaid things that you probably feel like you have to do you know <laughs> so if i was you i probably wouldn't do that if you were a lady out there i probably wouldn't the best thing to do is probably try to get some monetary gain out of it from afar get them to buy you a bag get them to fucking send you money get them you know what i mean that might be good but flights to go meet them to you know to go flights to go hang out at their house like that's that's wild that is fucking wild so um yeah don't do that please i beg of you don't do that